If you want to have wireless video range of up to 1,500 feet and use up to four smartphone devices or, you know, like iOS or Android devices to also monitor your video, the Axoon Cineview 2 SDI might be the right choice. You're watching Cinedy, supported by b and and CVP. Hi guys, here from NAB 2024. I'm here at the Axoon booth with Nisi. How are you? Nice. How are you? I'm good. My name is Julia Roberts. Now that's just a little inside joke that we have, but you, nobody will understand except for the Cinedy so crew. Confused. So confused. But those who know know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, what are we talking about today? That's the Cineview 2, right? Yes. So this is the latest addition to the Cineview family, and we are trying to make sure that uh, it has all the features that our own models have, but we make it into like very small and compact size, like really small and we fix like all the like the antenna designs to make sure that the signals will be more powerful and stronger so that this one can actually transmit to 1500 feet away so uh also it is still has all the excellent us contented dual band 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz uh technology to make sure that the four antennas is actually transmitting the two streams at the same time to and combine at the receiver for a complete image and we are trying to say that uh, excellent will be the one to build the most reliable and stable systems for any environments and with a longer range and even less latency on this one so uh, 50 millisecond okay. and yet you can still use it for like up to four devices at the same time for people who have never heard of the Cineview, maybe you can just go through the main features. Yeah, so uh, one transmitter can send videos to up to four different devices. So either is dedicated receivers or iPhones, iPads, Android devices, apps. So you have an app for both iOS and Android. Yes, and just connect to the Wi-Fi and then you will send the videos to the, 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 the monitors. And the latency for those devices is probably a little bit lower, slower, right? Uh, it will be all around like 50 millisecond, okay. yes. And for this one, we also have the ports. So uh, you can have it here like SDI in, HDMI in. We also added a new HDMI loop out. So if you have an uh, on-camera monitor, then you can just have SDI in or HDMI in, then loop out to the monitor. Can it convert from SDI to HDMI? Like when I go SDI in, can I go HDMI out? That's, yes, it does cross convert from SDI to HDMI. And if you actually put in like 4K video on the loop out, it will loop out 4K, but for HDMI only. And for SDI and the receiver, you will be downscaled to 1080p 60. Yes. Very cool. It also supports the camera control from Sony? Yes. The app. Yes. So if you set the transmitter as into like AP mode, then you will communicate with the FXs. We don't have them demo here, uh, but if you have that set, you can actually use the mo Sony monitor and control app, but at a very like shorter range. So if you're using like for on XLC app, you will transmit up to 1500 feet away. Very cool. So, main differences you already went through um, to the predecessor. What about pricing and availability? Yes, yeah, so the price will be, so one transmitter and receiver set will be 649 and availability will be around June. Okay, great. Anything I forgot to ask? Let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, maybe on the receiver, there's also a UVC output. This was originally in the Cineview HD model, but now uh, we have many SDI users are looking for this feature as well as this one can actually, maybe you can connect to a personal computer and you will have uh, the, the video source as a webcam. So better, easier connection to the OBS streaming. And now if you have the set of this, you can have SDI camera or HDMI camera and use this the feature yeah great i think that summarizes it uh unless you want to add something else <laughs> I still need to think <laughs> I'll give you a few seconds power options oh yeah of course power options so the power options is same to the old cineviews 
Uh, so MPF, Sony MPF batteries or USB C power or DC power. Yes. Right. All right. Yeah, that sounds like a real nice, neat little um, wireless video transmitter. And I, I simply like the ability to add um, iOS and Android devices. That makes it so useful on set just to have your director and, you know, like clients Everyone. having also a chance to look at the image uh, without a big fuss. And actually what it does for me is kind of like take them away from the camera crew, which is important. So usually, you know, like for small commercial shoots, you have the client peeking over your shoulder, do, shooting a corporate film. And it's like, yo, no, go go away from me. Let me work. And then you can just give them. Or you can have the client maybe go away, like up to 400 meter away. Exactly. They just sit somewhere, look easily on their phones. Uh, or an iPad, and uh, yeah. it's really, really helpful. So that was a really smart idea in general. Yeah. Thank you, Nisi. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Cinity for a lot more from NAB 2024. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you. Yeah.